Hello everyone, welcome back to Hacknet OS. We are going to continue with account Pierce Page. Alright guys, we are going to head over to the CSEC contract hub, log in, and see what we got. Add a death row record for a family member. So, um, there were some shady dealings behind a execution, and his name was left off the records. We want to put it on the records unjust absence like a death row record created so there's the record details name john borman final statement i'm ready warden um there's the csec asset server we need to get a template of the death row records and it will be in home templates in the asset server recommend download it edit it locally and then upload it Rename it using the MV command to reflect the name and whatever record number we use. Um, Alright, so let's head over to the asset server and download that. Login. You file, he said it was in home, templates, death row record template, right there. So, file naming scheme. So, last name, first name, record number is how we have to name it. Um, and we can just make up whatever record number you want. Um, so flag the file in as active by using the cat command. So like in, instead of just clicking it, type in cat template, and then replace it using replace quote quote end quote quote end quote, and then just continue replacing stuff until it looks the way we want, rename it, and then upload it. And make sure that you're in the folder that you want to upload to. Alright, guys. So, let's go do that. So, SCP template text. Alrighty, now we got that. Let's go clear out the log. Head over to our system and start editing this template. Okay, so now we're going to do cat template to open it. Now we need to replace all of this stuff in here. So we're going to hit quote bracket, oh, wrong bracket, bracket, all caps first underscore name bracket quote space oh I didn't type replace and it won't let me get to it for whatever reason it doesn't let you go past the first thing alright so I'm just going to redo this again alright so I'm going to clear this out and then try this again replace space quote bracket all caps first underscore name close bracket close quote space oh proud space space quote and then his first name so John end quote and enter see the first name changed to John now last name so quote bracket last all caps underscore name forgot replace again nope not caps replace quote bracket last underscore name close bracket quote space quote Borman B O O R M A N close quote enter there we go now we need to make up a record number so replace space quote bracket record underscore num bracket quote I used the wrong bracket at the beginning so let's go fix that there we go um, quote 
I'm just going to use the Amelia sequence 3185296 uh, I don't know how long it's able to be though so let's just drop it down to five digits end quote there we go and now we need to replace the last words and caps lock is still on And for whatever reason, it won't, like, autofill replace, so you just type out the whole thing. Quote, bracket, caps, last, underscore, words, bracket, quote, space, quote, I'm ready, warden. I'm still in caps locks. I'm ready. Warden. Now make sure you use the right punctuation and capitalization. End quote. Enter. All right, there we go. So now we need to rename the whole thing. So MV template text quote. Borman underscore John bracket and then the number that you used. For me it's 31852. Close bracket. Close quote. There we go. See now it's renamed. Okay, so we need to rename this without the quotes actually. So MV space quote and this autofill. And now without the quote, type in the same thing. Borman underscore John bracket your number for me three one eight five two close bracket there we go now let's head over to the um, death records database there it is exit probe got a firewall and three ports to crack now we have broken in here before but I don't remember what it was. It was some weird not actual word for the firewall. It was like AHS, maybe not AN. I, I don't remember what it was. So if you remember that, good for you, but I'm gonna analyze it a couple times until I remember what it is. Analyze, analyze, analyze. Analyze. Oh, now I remember what it is. Solve. A H S U N Y A G. There we go. It's, it's so much harder when it's not an actual word. So FTP 21 and SQL 1433. Then get web server worm ready. Because we do have a trace on this, if you haven't noticed. And it's going fairly quickly. Run web server and get port hack ready. Run that. And then prepare to disconnect and hop back in. There we go. Exit, view files, head over to the death row database, records, and then upload, home, Borman, always put a space in there, Borman, John, upload. There we go, and there it is, now in the database. So we are done, just clear out the log, and then go reply to the email. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. I hope this was helpful. If you need any more help in future videos, or in future levels, please watch my next video. I will be continuing the game. But let's reply to the email. Contract successful. We are still one of a hundred. Alright guys, I am going to save and quit HackNet current session.